Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve uh, each question on your own, try to choose the correct answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is uh, the first question. If you want to determine the phenotype of organism, what procedure would you follow? And here is the uh, four answer to choose from. Answer A. DNA sequence of the parents would be unpractical because um, when uh, organism inherit, deployed organism like uh, we humans, we inherit only half of the genes from each parent. So it's not necessary that if we find something in parents, uh, we would find the same characteristics, the same alleles in the progeny. So we can cross out this answer. Answer B, DNA fingerprint of the organism. We use this technique in forensic science. When uh, at the crime scene, some biological evidence can be found and uh, later can be uh, fingerprint can be made or uh, genetic profile that allows us to say uh, whether this person who is, uh, can be a suspect uh, was at the crime scene or was not. And uh, phenotypically, we only can answer with this type of um, genetic research only question if a uh, person was male or female. Other um, alleles at 15 different uh, loci doesn't uh, give us any phenotypical uh, information of the organism. So we can cross out this answer also. And we left with two answers. Answer C, look at the physical characteristics uh, of the organism. Answer D, do a dehybrid cross. We do dehybrid cross when we want to find if uh, two genes are on the same uh, chromosome or on the different chromosomes. If uh, two genes on the same chromosome, we would um, find that in progeny, uh, these characteristics that caught uh, by these um, two different genes, uh, maybe this is going to be two different traits, would tend to inherit together. If on the different chromosomes there wouldn't be such a tendency. And also with the hybrid cross, we, if we would use different genes on the same chromosome, we can find the order of the genes on that uh, chromosome. So uh, we do not... Um, use the hybrid cross in order to find a phenotype of the organism. So we can cross answer D and as you see the only correct answer here is answer C. In order to find or determine phenotype we just have to look at the physical characteristics of the organism because phenotype is a physical characteristics of the organism. Something that we can see visually. And uh, this is answer C. Those uh, sometimes some phenotypic characteristics we cannot see with a naked eye. For example, uh, blood groups we cannot see with naked eye, but we still um, differentiate them in four uh, different blood groups. And we know that these four blood groups are made by six genotypes. So next question. If uh, a disease is said to be sex-linked, what a pair of chromosomes must contain the gene responsible for the disease? And here is uh, five answers to choose from. If you take a look at this human karyotype, you just can count that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. 22 pairs would be autosomes. And... Uh, the last pair would be sex chromosomes. And this is going to be 23rd pair. And um, also we refer as sex link um, diseases, sex links genetic disorders, those genes that we can find on the X and Y chromosomes. And this is once again 23rd pair. So this is 22nd and this is 23rd. So our answer, as you see, would be answer 
see. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.